Okay, guys, now it's game five tonight, but I want to stress that it's not the divisional series, so please don't feel obligated to lose. In fact, I'd very much like you to win, and we can take this thing back to the Bronx. Now, it's going to be Yamamoto on the mound tonight, so just do your best for us, mate. Where is Jordan? Shitting himself on the toilet. At least he'll be light. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to the New York Yankees as we look to win the World Series with an All-American team. Now I think we're Season 6, Episode 14 is this. It doesn't matter, it's Game 5 of the ALCS. We're against the Tigers, we are 3-1 down and we have to win. And it is Jordan Yamamoto that is going for us on the mound. And that is of course because Isaiah Bennett picked up an injury in Game 1 and he is out for the rest of the season. So... It's not the end of the world. If we look at the pitching stats, Yamamoto, if we just do major league levels, please. He came in at the end of the year, six starts, had an ERA of uh, 340 on a whip of under one, ERA plus of 140. I think they're the main key stats, aren't they? So he did a really, really good job when he came in for us. Now, is he able to pitch a postseason game away from home that we have to win? I mean, we're about to find out, but... Well, let's check the lineups and see how we're going to get on here. We have to win. And this is it, and we have changed things up somewhat. So it's Fletcher leading us off at second, Horner bats second at third, Smith bats third at first. It is Sager in shortstop for this one, uh, batting four. Adele in right field bats five. Grosjean and Desnetta hitting at six. Marcelo Mayer is going to play left field for us. I'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, Carson Kelly catches at eight, and Isbell in center field bats nine. It's Yamamoto on the mound, as I said. We're up against Jack Walker for them. He proved himself to be quite decent in game one, uh, a left-handed pitcher as well. And that is the reason why we've gone with Marcelo Mayer in left field. Partly, basically, because uh, Gallo is terrible versus left-handed pitchers and, uh, and uh, JJ's not much better. He can play in the outfield. He's never done it before, but he can play in the outfield. So we're going to stick him out there. It's mainly for his bat and just hope that he doesn't, doesn't stuff up too badly defensively. I mean, it's left field. A trained monkey can play left field, can't they? So it's going to be Fletcher to lead us off, batting 475 in the postseason. And hopefully this is not the last time he leads us off in the game this season. If we can get this thing back to New York, you know, we have May uh, Marley, who's very good at home. And then it would be TJ Nichols, who, as I've said before, will... We oh, and it's dropped in. Well, 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 is that a sign of things to come for us? Nico Horner batting 333 will come up now with Fletcher at first. Hit and run it looked like, and that prevents the double play. So we've got Fletcher at second, one away for Dominic Smith batting 357. It's an 0 2, and Smith strikes out. And it's going to be up to Corey Sager to keep this thing going for us. Only batting 237 in the postseason, a 1 1 pitch. Sega gets it into left field, and that might give us the lead. Go home, Fletch. Run, Fletch. No, he stays at third. Two out. Runners at the corners for Joe Adele, who's batting 256. Can Joe Adele be a hero? He has grounded at the shortstop, and that'll do it. And we don't take advantage of it. doesn't say it was an error, but essentially it was an error for them. And it brings Yamamoto out to face Madrigal, who's batting 529. It's a full count. Come on, Jordan. Let's start us off right here. Oh, he doesn't. It's a walk. And it's Riley Green, who's batting 184. Oh, did we get him at first? We did have some of that. Jordan, go on, son. All right, let's strike out Green now. Oh, dear. No, it's staying in. That's okay. Adele's underneath it. Two away. Excellent stuff here, young Jordan. It's Torkelson now, who's batting 176. It's a 3-1. Oh, we might need to uh, cut out these walks, please, Yamamoto. It brings Dominguez in now. He's batting 242 in the postseason. A 2-2 pitch and a strikeout that ends the first. Excellent stuff there by, uh, I say he's young, he's 30. He's young in his career at the majors. It brings Grosjans in, who's batting 500 so far in the postseason. Two for four. It's an 0-2 pitch and Grosjans strikes out on three pitches. Marcelo Mayer. Left fielder, Marcelo Mayer comes in, batting 290 in the postseason. He does better than that generally against lefties in the regular season, but he strikes out there for two away. And in comes Carson Kelly, who's batting 214 at this postseason. Another 2-2 two -two pitch, another strikeout, and that'll do it for the top of the second. Brings Yamamoto back out to face Packard, who's batting 375 in the postseason. A 1-2 pitch. Oh, that looked wicked. Excellent stuff from Yamamoto, one away. Castro comes in now, batting 300. 
a one-two pitch. Come on, Jordan. That should be out at first. Fletcher over to Smith. Two away. And it brings Lengeliers in now, who's batting 276. It's a 3 0. And it is a third walk of the game with two away. Lawler at the plate, who's batting 226. It's a 3 1. It's up. Isbell's going back. I think he's got it covered. And that ends the innings. All right, Yamamoto. Given up base runners, but not hits. Walker will face Isbell. Isbell batting 261. It's a 1 2 pitch. Isbell pops it up. And right field comes in and makes a simple catch for one away. Fletcher comes up now. He's one for one today. A little bit luck on that hit of his last time up. This time he pops it up and that'll be two away. And it'll be Nico Horner with two out, no one on to see what he can do. 0 for 1, of course, Nico after getting out first time around. This time he grounds it to second. And that's not going to be much better. And that'll do it for the top of the third. It's a lot of pressure on Yamamoto, isn't it? We don't look like we're going to do much with the bats. Segura, who's uh, batting 333, comes in and gets a hit. Straight up the middle, a leadoff single. It's one of these for us where, I mean, it's, we're asking so much of Yamamoto. Madrigal gets a hit into right field now. Can we keep the runner at second? Yes, but two on, no one out in the top of the uh, bottom of the third, sorry. And Riley Green comes in, who's 0 for 1. It's an 0-2 pitch. It's a, that could be a double. There's one. Can we turn it? No, it's just one. Fletcher can't turn it. Runners at the corners with one away. Torkelson at the plate. He walked last time up. It's a full count. And Torkelson will open the scoring for the Tigers. An RBI single. Two on, one out for Dominguez now. Come on, Jordan. A 1-1. One, one. Oh, and second time around, they are getting to Yamamoto. And that's going to be at least one run across. It's just the one run. But now we have runners at second and third with one away. We're 2 nothing down. We have to win or our season is done. Packard's at the plate. And Packard has popped it up. Now, can Adele stop the run from scoring from third? He gets it in quickly. He does. Two away. Can he get out of this with just giving up the two runs? It's Castro who's 0 for 1. And he draws a walk to load the bases. And it's Lengeliz who walked last time up. It's an 0-1. It's a pop-up. And if Isbell can catch, that'll end the innings. And it will just be two runs. So it could have been worse. Smith will lead us off. He's 0-1 today. A 2-2 pitch. And there's a strikeout. I was going to say before, it's one of these where we really want to try and get in front. So they have to take... Walker out of the game, although it's not the National League, so they could leave him in as long as they want, really. Doesn't matter what the score is. So, never mind that. It's Adele now with two away and with no one on. And we know with two strikes, Adele tends to not do much, but on this occasion, he gets a two out single. Now, a single at two out isn't the most useful thing, but if Grosjeans can get onto something, you never know. It's a full count. Come on, Jordan. He walks. Two on. Two out now, and it's going to bring Maya to the plate. Come on, Marcelo. Marcelo, no, pops it up, and that'll do it for the top of the fourth. And we're still still 2-0 down, and we're up against a very good pitcher, aren't we? Yamamoto will face Lawler, a 2-1 pitch. Yamamoto gives up a leadoff single. And second time around, they are definitely getting to him, aren't they? Brings Segura up, who's one for one. He's balked. That is the last thing we needed. There goes the double play, and it would have been a double play. One out, runner goes to third. Madrigal at the plate, who's one for one, batting a thousand, it feels like, in this postseason. And there's another one, and we're three nothing down, and that four has cost us a run. Riley Green comes in. It's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. That's a pop-up. It's not going to leave the infield. Smith is there. That'll be two away. And it'll be Torkelson to the plate now, who is 0 for 1. I think with a walk, doesn't matter. He strikes out there. But we are 3-0 down going into the fifth. It's going to be Carson Kelly, who's 0 for 1 to face Walker. A 1-1 pitch. And Kelly has hit it. Has he hit it well enough? It is not going to... No, it's in the end a simple catch for one away. Isbell now, who's 0 for 1. Can we get something going here, please? 
No, it's straight to first base. Two away. And Fletcher with two away will come into bat. He pops it up, and that'll do it for the fifth. And... Yeah, anyway, I think we're just up against a very good pitcher, aren't we? Yamamoto is doing his best. It's not his fault. What we wouldn't have given to have Isaiah Bennett in going in this one. But there you go. A one-out single into right field. Willie Castro now, who's 0 for 1. First pitch swing. Castro gets it up the middle. It'll be another hit. And can we get the runner at third? No. So with one away, runners at the corners. And it's Langoliers. And we need a double play or a strikeout, don't we, to first pitch swing. So it's not going to be a strikeout. It's not going to be a double play. But we'll take a uh, a, fly in foul, foul, a fly ball in foul territory. Easy for you to say. That's two away. So Lawler now comes in. It's an 0-1 pitch. Can we end this innings, please? Oh, dear. And that is six to nothing. Three runs felt difficult. Six feels impossible, doesn't it? Jordan Hicks will come in now. An 0-1 pitch, and that is a ground ball that should end the innings. And it's frustrating, but I've got to remind, it's not Yamamoto's fault. He shouldn't be, it's just it's injuries that have left him here. We need to start scoring runs. There's no point crying about it. We need we need to win the game. We need to find a way to win the game. And Horner, that's not going to get it done for us. Smith comes in. He's 0 for 2 today. It's a first pitch swing. Dominic Smith has absolutely crushed it, has he? No. Oh, the wind must be blowing in a million miles an hour for over the right field fence because that look gone off the bat. But it's two away. And Corey Sager now, who is 1 for 2, comes in. He gets a hit up the middle. And it's not going to be our day, is it? A good catch in center field. Ends the top of the sixth. Hicks will continue to Madrigal. An 0-2. And that should be out at first. There we go. One away. And comes Riley Green, who is 0-3. A 2-2 pitch. And that is a ground ball. And that is again out at first. Two away. I wonder if we should have started someone like Hicks and just used the bullpen today. I don't know. I don't. I, yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, Yamamoto didn't do badly in the six starts, as I said at the top. You know, he, he was fine, but we were always up against it. I mean, you can't go 3-0 down and, and, you know, you're going to have their gun going at some point. And we've come up against one of the better pitchers in the league, and he is uh, shutting us down. Marcelo Mayer, at least that wasn't a complete waste playing him in left field for this one. As he gets a two-out single. Can Carson Kelly keep this going for us? He gets it up the middle. Here we go. If we can get a nice Isbell home run now. Get it back to 6-3. And you just never know your luck. He is coming towards the end. He's getting tired. Come on, Isbell. He's 0-2. It's an 0-2 pitch. Isbell, no. And it's going to be out at second. And it's going to end the innings. And we stretch 6-0 down. Dominguez will come in the bat for them. He is one for three today. It's a full count. It is up. It's back. So is Isbell. And he's there to make a simple catch. One away. Packard now, who's one for three. It's a 3-1. Three and that is crushed into left field. And that'll be a double. As Mayer gets it in for us. But one out, runner at second. It goes without saying, we can't afford any more runs. We couldn't afford any more runs when it was three. It's going to be Josh Wolf coming in. And to be fair to Hicks, he did okay there, didn't he? Let's see what Josh... Try that again. Josh Wolf can do. He starts off with a strikeout. Nicely done. I think Josh Wolf is someone that maybe could have started as well. He's a borderline startup. I mean, I was damned if I do, damned if I don't. Uh, you know, as it's turned out, Yamamoto wasn't wasn't really what we needed but if we don't score any runs it wouldn't have mattered who pitched because you have to score runs to win don't you Fletcher to lead us off and that is a strikeout and that'll do it Dennis Santana comes on for them he is uh, has an ERA of zero so far in the postseason so it just gets easier doesn't it can we get at the bullpen though we need six runs with five outs remaining Horner's over three and that'll continue as he pops it up 
And with two away, it's Dominic Smith. He's 0 for 3. He's not had a good day of things. And Dominic Smith has hit it, but it's centre field. And that is the end of the eighth. And we have three outs left in our season. Lawler to face Wolf, who is 2 for 3. Hit a home run last time up, of course, as well. This time he strikes out on three pitches. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to see Wolf come out of the bullpen and think, oh, we could have started him. But it's, it's, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, Madrigal is two for three. Thank Christ it's the last time we see him. Can Maya make a catch? No. So it's going to be a two-out single. And Riley Green will come in, who's 0 for 4. He strikes out on three pitches. We go to the ninth, and we need a miracle. We have five hits, and we need six runs. Sega will lead us off. Can he lead us off in style? He's one for three today. Corey Sager, all right. Where there's life, there's hope. And there's a very faint heartbeat, but there's still a heartbeat. A leadoff single for Sega. Adele comes in. He's one for three. A first pitch swing. Adele, that could be a double play. And the heartbeat has faded. The defibrillator is out. And I don't think with Jordan Grosjean's at the plate, there's going to be much hope here for us. And that ends our season in game five of the ALCS. So it's going to be Detroit and the Phillies in the World Series. Now, what we're going to do, as I as I said before uh, on the Channel News update, I'm moving house, so I, it seems like a, a decent point to stop, and then we can pick the series up uh, early November. I'm assuming uh, late October, early November. I'll keep everybody updated on Discord, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll be back in a moment. We'll see who wins the World Series, and we'll have a sort of truncated end of season awards we'll just see who won everything but uh i'm not going to do the whole ceremony so in the end it's the phillies that won the world series and they won it comfortably so um yeah that's uh not much good to the american league is it and uh just to wrap things up because i did forget to do it in my disappointment is nick madrigal unsurprisingly uh was the mvp of our uh, of our series so well done to him now let's go through quickly and see who has won all our end of season awards starting with the pitcher with the most wins so with 14 wins it was our young superstar uh, TJ Nichols, um, yeah, unsurprising perhaps, but uh, very well done to him. Congratulations. Uh, the next award is for highest batting average. And with an average of 333, second best in the AL, it is Corey Sega that takes home that award for us. Uh, the next award is the golden, uh, the golden bullseye for most times hit by a pitch. And perhaps surprisingly, it's Nico Horner that wins that. 12 times he was hit by pitchers this season, so well done to him, I suppose. Uh, next up is most times grounded into a double play. Also known, of course, as the Golden Anchor. And it's Nico Horner again. 22 times he hit into a double play. Now, I think a lot of that is probably the fact that he has Fletcher batting ahead of him, who tends to get on base. He hit a ground ball to the middle infield. And, uh, well, you're going to get a double play against you, aren't you? Uh, next award is the Golden Boot for most walks issued by a pitcher. And apparently it's the Horner and TJ show because it's TJ Nichols. He had 65 walks, which is fine, to be honest. <laughs> you know, he started 32 games. He walked 65 guys. I'm okay with that. But he uh, he has issued the most walks of any of our pitching staff. Uh, next award is the Golden Glasses for most times struck out. And with 190, that award goes to Joe Adele for this time, uh, for this season, I should say. Next up, it is the pitcher with the most strikeouts. And again, we go back to TJ Nichols. He was the most strikeouts in the American League with 259, as you can see down there. Uh, so well done to him. A wonderful, wonderful season by our young superstar. Uh, the next award is the uh, is the Golden Broom for most, uh, most RBIs. And yet again, this award goes to Corey Sager. He had 94 RBIs, which is a little bit low by his standards. You can see the last two years he's uh, got over the 100, but uh, a little bit short of that this year, but still enough to uh to win the award for us uh and the next award is for the pitcher with the best era and again we go back to tj nichols 236 was his era uh it was better than anybody out of the bullpen which maybe says something about the quality of our bullpen pitching but um yeah wonderful wonderful stuff from tj next up it is the award for most home runs and it's a first this season. It's Joe Adele that has won the award. 31 home runs he hit. He doesn't do well on YouTube. If to be, I don't know why that is, but he does. He does do okay when no one's watching. So um, if we can just get the yeah, behind closed doors games going, he would have loved COVID, wouldn't he? He would have loved the COVID season. Uh, next up, it is the award for best pitcher. Now, again, there's a formula we use to determine this, which is in the description. But in third place, it was Montana Semmel. Uh, he had a score this year of 39.22. 
Second place went to Isaiah Bennett. We would have loved him going in game five, wouldn't we? Uh, he put together a score this season of 42.31. But the winner is, to the surprise of nobody, uh, it's TJ Nichols. It's stunning score. Almost double. Actually, it might be double. Maps. 87.71 was his score this season. And uh, like I said, if he doesn't win Cy Young, then there is something wrong. Uh, the next award we would be giving out is, of course, for the best hitter. And again, there is a formula we use to determine this. Uh, third place goes to free agent. We have to try and fix that, won't we? Nico Horner, a score of 63.72. That's not a bad score for third place, I've got to say. Second place is another potential free agent. Again, we need to try and fix it, I think. He's probably worth keeping around. But David Fletcher, uh, Fletch put together a score of 65.49. And the winner... With a score of 72.58 is Corey Sager. He always seems to win it, doesn't he? He's been a wonderful player for us. And um, yeah, well, long may it continue. We've got him for another three years on the current contract. So uh, yeah, he will be here for, for the foreseeable future. That brings us, of course, now to the MVP award, which you guys vote for. And you guys voted for... With 71% of you voted for Corey Sager, so he's won MVP. I think he was won at most years as well. Uh, clearly a fan favorite uh, and a statistical favorite as well. So well done to Corey Sager. Now, to get to the end of this season, to really close it out, I think we need to have a look at the end of season baseball awards, the Major League Baseball awards. So uh, let's go and see who's won that. And the first award is usually, um, what is it usually? We'll find out. It is, of course, the Golden Gloves, isn't it? Now, we do not have anybody that has won an award there, which is disappointing. Matt Olson, of course, formerly of uh, of us, has won it. And on the National League side of things, we can see everybody there. And, uh, well, hooray for them, I suppose. Next up will be uh, the Reliever of the Year. And it goes to Brett DeGoose. Now, Semmel has come in third, and Ellie just got in there as well. Now, did we have Brett DeGoose at some point? Or was I just trying to sign him, perhaps? No, doesn't look like he, I don't recognize any of those uh, lower divisional teams there. So he must have just been looking at him. Uh, next up, it is the Platinum, the, the Silver Sluggers. All right, so did we get anybody? There's a lot of a fair few Blue Jays in there. There we go. So Corey Sager won at shortstop. And that was all she wrote. Third, really? Just a shortstop. So it is a, uh, how many silver sluggers is that? That is a third silver slugger for Corey Sager at shortstop. And if we want to have a look at uh, the everybody in the, uh, uh, what's it called, the National League, and we can see them all there as well, and uh, hooray for them. All right, well, who was the designated hitter? It was a pitcher. Why is there a pitcher getting a silver slugger and not a designated hitter? Anyway, I don't know what's happened there. Uh, next up, it is Rookie of the Year. Semmel, maybe? So Rookie of the Year goes to Jack Berger. Uh, Semmel, nowhere to be seen, unfortunately. So Berger, third baseman, looks okay, doesn't he? So well done him. And in the National League Rookie of the Year, Jimmy Heron. Well, there we go. Good old Jimmy Heron from the Rockies. Nice to say the name again, isn't it? Uh, next award is Manager of the Year. It's not going to be our guy, is it? So rightly so. It is a Detroit Tigers manager that's won it. And I'm assuming the Phillies manager will win it. Yes, he does. Next up, it's Cy Young. It has to be. It just has to be TJ Nichols. And it is well done, TJ Nichols. Uh, Isaiah Bennett was up there as well, but uh, I think he 100% deserves that. So in his second season of Major League Baseball, he wins the Cy Young, and he is going to be a star, isn't he? Someone we could maybe build the franchise around. And on the National League side of things, it went to Francesco Morales of the Phillies. And, well, he's no, uh, I'll tell you what, his ERA is pretty good, but he's no TJ. I would, I'd rather have TJ than him, which is probably a good thing because he's... Uh, Venezuelan. Final award is the MVP. I don't think we'll have anybody. So it's Miguel Sano of the Red Sox that has won it. Sega was there. He's in third place. So, he, I mean, he did have a good year, but not his best year by any means. TJ Nichols was uh, there or thereabouts. Sano, I mean, he hits home runs. He's, a, he's a just Joey Gallo, but maybe 55 home runs. Jesus. So he did have a decent year, didn't he? Very, very Ah, oh, why can't you do that, Gallo? And uh, National League, uh, it went to Gregorius, maybe surprisingly. Is he that good? Yeah, I suppose so. He had a good year, so well done to him. And that is that. So, guys, that is it. We will be back. Uh, I'm 90% sure. Let me know what you think. It do, is it worth... Do you want to keep going? I, I don't want to concede defeat, as frustrated as I am by them. So, I think what we'll do is, once uh, we've moved into the new, the new house, which is... Just, 
going to be kind of the end of October, early November. Obviously, I'll need to get everything set up, internet going, all that, you know, all the stuff that goes with moving house. So once we've got that, then um, I will be back. I will post on Twitter, on the community page, everything when we're coming back. Well, we've at some point, surely, we're going to be able to get to the end. I mean, if you make the playoffs every season, eventually you're going to go to the World Series, aren't you? But uh, anyway, we were the best team in baseball and in the American League this season, and it's a little bit annoying we didn't show up in the championship series. Anyway, guys, that's a step further than normal. I will see you when we return. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.